And today we are continuing our childhood fight series by taking a morning flight out of Greenville Park for a couple of Minneapolis St. Paul in our Northwest Airline 727. Now the jetway is already in the back but because there's fuel flowing into the APU and it, re it requires the fuel be stopped to come up for the SAM auto gates. So what we're going to do is the beacon is already on so all we have to do is call the tug and get out of here. So let's do that. Then our JTAs are going to come on. It's going to be a more interesting fight as we have to do VOR and VOR navigation here. We can't just let the airplane do whatever it wants. This can't be programmed to be like an autopilot. Use the frames. This plane is going to be tough on the frame rate, I see. comes the tug. Let's see what we've got for our... Okay. Yeah. Set bugs. Okay. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Please connect. As I go through this, and it's on. Okay, good. Let's fly with that this time. Let's try it. We must be gentle with our landings. Okay, let's get inside and shut that off. connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Parking brake is is released. Oh, well, that's not it. Okay. Okay, so let's get the engine start check this out. Beacon on, galley power off. Packs off. Bleed PSI 30 plus. Good. Engine bleed valves open. They're all open. Okay, engine starts with the ground into 20% and then start valve off. So. Let's go with the engine start switches. Up here they are. Starting from number one. Ground. And two is going to rise 20%. Then we are going to go ahead and put fuel in. Listen to that JT8D, come on, guy. This ground engine two, the big one up top. Operation complete. Twenty percent. Parking brake. Parking brake is set. Disconnected tow. Stand by. Already. That one's good. Uh, 
that light is out so we can go to the next engine the third engine percent and it goes to fuel okay, after that so is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed hand signal will be on the left we'll see you next time have a safe flight see you next time okay good all right stop Okay, anti-ice is required. It's temperature right now. 17, no need. Okay. We'll, we'll worry about that when we get up there. Okay. Keto heat goes on. By instruments for departure, flight controls checked. We need to turn the packs back on, by the way. Okay. Oops, those are bleed valves. These have to come back on. I think the galley power needs to come back on, too. So check the flight controls. Whoops. Sorry, Sirius the Jet. Okay. I'm gonna go that with the flaps. Okay, save by the trim stuff to take off. Flaps to take off, stabilizer trim. Bring that in some or a lot. Flaps for takeoff, galley power on, electrical, no lights. There are lights. So those are gone. So Gen 1. Gen 1. Fuel heat off. Which are in quantity normal in the system A. So brings this up. So I get rid of the lights on the fuel system, I think we probably should. Pressure set for cruise altitude. Okay. A thousand and up the two. I guess six hundred or something like that. I'll check later. Like ground switch to the flight. I can't remember where it is. Uh, I haven't been the 727 in so long.
Here it is. Right. Number two bleeds closed. Pure inner speed box set. Oh, okay, there they are. There it is. 2.15. That's where I take off. Cool. Okay, so let's taxi out. That took longer than it should have, sorry. 727 is a complicated plane. Let's taxi out of here. Alrighty, I'll see you guys on the runway. Alrighty, we're here at runway 4. Let's get ready to get going. 4 is here as the jet is still behind us. Our switch is... Guarded. Transponder on altitude. The X-Ponders up here. No. Everything is different. Okay, so... Let's see, this is good. On auto. Okay, worry about that later. Landing lights on. These deer are still in the same place. Oh, there it is. Auto pack trip switch norm cut out. Okay, go to normal. This is getting kind of... Strobe's gotta go on. This checklist may be a bit incomplete. Turn the wing lights on. Let's take off. Release the brakes. Fight and then please take your seats for take off. Frame right here is for some reason dying. But once you get away from this airport, the frames will do better. Much better.
Oh, it's complimenting you. That's 737. Here to go to this VOR. We'll start bringing the flaps in. I know what the problem is. Oh, it's better to go to this one on nav nav one. Or flaps one, I mean. We're still climbing pretty hard. I forgot to change the altimeter. Oh well. Already too many mistakes on this flight. local altimeter here. Three zero zero six that's what we're looking for ten thousand feet. Here we are, 10,000 feet. So let's set up our everything. Autopilot's top.
go. Anyways, I'll come back to you at the end of the fight. And we're back. We've been climbing for a while. We've been at top of climbing for a while, I mean. So this airplane needs to be babysitted. This is a top airplane to fly, I'm not gonna lie. It is tougher than most of the modern jets. I think I've got it under control now. And there's no cabin back there in the back, so what we're going to do is just do our Bible reading here. While looking out the window. At our amazing... Um, scenery. Okay, so let's get the verse out. It's going to be from Matthew 6.33. Bayu in Sabla, patitunan yung mag-ariyag ng Diyos kay kayo at upag yung kapuriyan na. Ay bibiyan na pati na yung sabla ang kailangan. Bayu in Sabla, patitunan yung mag-ariyag ng Diyos kay kayo at upag yung kapuriyan na. At bibiyan na pati na yung sablang kailangan ni. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Alemu, alemu. That one. Alrighty, so cool. Altitude, VOR, localizer, good stuff. So we are good to go. And I'll catch you guys at descent. And we're back. We have to start a bit of a quick descent. Because our target VOR is actually closer than I thought. So we're going to go ahead and descend now into Minneapolis, which is right here on our map. So we're here. Seatbelt sign is already on. We're in some turbulence, so... We have it down here. I know it's not down here. Let's do a check. Break manually, I guess. I thought we had an auto break down there, but it's fine if we don't. Let's go back here and do some checking. And this is about right for all of our tanks. And let's get the descent checklist going. Definitely what we're doing now is descending. Guys, we'll leave that. Landing lights, I guess, go for 10,000 feet. Altimeters, we don't know that. Radio altimeter, set. Matching it's set, okay. So let's go ahead and get... Right there, what am I doing? Gotta make sure we stay on course. Oh, there it is. Three zero right, three zero left. Okay, that's what we'll use then. We'll vector ourselves in. Perimeter three zero one four. So we'll go to FGT first. To nav one. And then just take the heading to that direction. in that fashion. We vector ourselves into the runway. Alright, so I'll catch you guys on final.
already guys, we're close to final. That's our gear warning sounding right there. We're going to put our gear down. We're going to go lap 30. And this is here. Got the airport in sight. Take my the trim. Yeah, I know. We'll get back in the trim. Oh, this is interesting. I can silence one of those by doing this. down. Put some speed. Okay, there we go. Three zero left is what we're going for. Right, runway in sight. Alright, can you please take your seat up the seats for landing? We're at reference speed right now. Bearing into the ILS code. What is that? Close these. There's no one would save them open. Because it's zero degrees outside. We're coming in. It's going to get deactivated soon. Keep that in for now. Not yet. is the most worrying part of the entire flight. Putting it down. And this use the stabilizer trim button to deactivate the autopilot when the time comes. Safety reasons. Let's get both of those on there. And here it comes. So, autopilot disengaged my airplane. Right, let's put her down. Runway is in the wrong place. Get over a bit. Oh, there it is. I see it now. I did not have a visual on that runway coming in.
That was a building, not a runway. Okay, but I got it now. Don't jerk up on my landing like this. Why did you do that? Pretty much visual right now. I would explain it. I had some pressure on the rudder. Not actually realizing it. Laser back in trim. Sorry for all the alarms, guys. I know it's a cacophony of sounds in here right now. For the boy who. Flying smoothly earlier. There's some more hard drive thing. Turn down the reflectivity settings. That's what I'll do. You were approaching with the speed brakes on. That's all that's happening. Like a fighter jet move. Left the speed brakes on for this approach. Alright, here we are. Approach it really too shallow. Oh. Is that jerking gonna stop anytime soon?
Okay, there we go. Now we'll stop. And the brushes off. Spoilers in. We take care of the next line, that's still the runway. Activity settings down right after this flight so that jerking stops happening. That might not be it though, it could be just a cockpit. Welcome to Minneapolis. Had a nice landing. Go ahead and get off the runway first before we do anything else. And find ourselves a parking space. First, now that we're off the runway, in front of this other one. And watch the replay. Thirty. You can watch the replay. Again, I have been having a bad habit of doing that. So yeah, I'm gonna take a gate. See you guys there. And now we just sh shut the engines down. Let's go outside and take a look at what happened. Maybe we're too far away. Oh boy. Can we call some sort of pushback truck? I don't think we can. Okay, should have just we could have had an FMS there. I didn't realize that. Okay, we were too far away. I know that now. Oh, this has been interesting. Anyways, we just use the stairs. Okay, seatbelt switch off. Or maybe seatbelt switch. The APU quick tone as an engine. Off. Beacon. Off. Exterior lights. Taxi goes off. 
Nav stays on, everything else good. Oh, fibers cut off, parking brake set. Here it comes. Now ah, we got it. Electrical APU ground power on, good. Parking brake wasn't set, that's what it was. Hydraulic B pumps off. Air conditioner bleeds open and the pack set. Okay, there we go. Good. Welcome to Minneapolis, everybody. Alright, let's step outside. And because the ground handle is not set up, we just have to lower the aft air stairs. And call that a flight. There's no doors yet on this model either, so that's that. And there we are, Minneapolis. My phone is Pekoman. Aku, Imaliari. Slampoke Koman, Timanalpe. Good night, plane taking off. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.